You're watching KYOT Coyote. Welcome back as we kick off the silent cartographer for the mod Halo Combat Revolved. Also, the YouTube channel Just Insane S222 is fun to watch as they explore behind the scenes of Halo cutscenes. Link to their channel is in the description. Check it out. I really enjoy behind the scenes content. I'm glad I found their channel. For this wonderful mod Halo Combat Revolved, I will be playing on Heroic throughout my playthroughs. You can download this mod in the description below as well. This is for the longtime Halo fans that need a fresh experience for the original game. There are secret weapons in this mod, and I am not aware of all of their locations. If I find them, it's just me exploring. So exploration is encouraged in this mod. I also want to highlight the visuals in Combat Revolved. They must not be understated. Connor Don created stunning visuals, including the skyboxes, throughout the levels in this mod. Also, Markle created textures for the giant gas planet Threshold and its moon bases. We will admire the skybox here soon, once we're done assaulting the beach. Not only are you assaulting the beach with a squad of UNSC Marines, you also have a squad of ODSTs. I gotta give credit where credit is due. Doesn't the ocean water make you thirsty for Baja Blast from Taco Bell? It looks so refreshing, so delicious. Try it out if you haven't yet already. What type of puma is this that Echo 419 is bringing? <gasps> it's a Gauss puma. Gauss, Gauss, same thing. Okay, let's move out. Let's go find the map room that will show us the location of Halo's control center. Hang tight, Cortana. Time to take in the vista. There is Threshold, the gas giant that is so eerily present in the previous night level Truth and Reconciliation. I really like how defined and imposing Threshold looks. Well done Markle and Connor Dawn. Now let's look at the other side. There's Basis. We can wrap around the island and get a better view. And since this island is not in the center of the ring, we can see the mountain range along the huge ring wall. Oh man, that looks awesome. Yeah. <laughs> 
didn't know these things could fly. It gets so chaotic here, and I love it. The Covenant have a much stronger presence at the cartographer's entrance, and that makes a lot of sense to me. They should be heavily guarding this location. It might take you a few tries to assault the entrance, but each and every time it's so much fun. Some trial and error, figuring out what works, what doesn't, maybe get some distance, or try going in Leroy Jenkins style. Just gotta be certain nothing is hiding here in the cave. Remember, exploring can be a good thing. Anyone in here? Any weapon that I haven't seen before? Markle, did you put something in here? Connor? No? Okay. take this puma a bit further in. What the? Huh? Down. Don't get cocky now. He really goes to work in the gauss. The gunner takes no prisoners here. <laughs> Even the engineers that have been added are considered threats. Can't blame them. Keep it steady.
The altered color palette makes this atmosphere feel colder inside the Forerunner interior. Ghostly cold. Oh, what a surprise. Hello, little sleeping grunt. That's some cool looking armor you got there. And that's a really cool needler. Markle's Shredder. I'll just leave that needler for him there, and I wonder if I could wake up the grunt. Maybe if I bump into him. Hello? Well, the reticle doesn't turn red, but I kind of want to. Alright. Oh. <laughs> okay, this time, I'm just going to take his needler. And he could have mine, and I'm going to leave him be. Now, admittedly, this weapon is hard to use against camouflaged enemies, so I'll put it to better use momentarily on non-camoed enemies. Dang it, that ODST had a great run. The Puma still works, but... Man, that's a tough loss. Might have to restart the entire level. Ooh, I see a Banshee Ultra down there. Okay, I'm gonna use the Puma to crawl down the cliff. Oops. Oh. Well, that worked out better than I thought. Of course, the Jackals, being the scavengers and pirates that they are, are getting their hands on UNSC weapons. Okay, so Bravo 22 brought a rocket launcher and a flamethrower. Now, I want to still use Markle's shredder a bit longer, and since I have a banshee, I can hightail it back to this location if I need the rocket launcher for the interior sections. Having the banshee available here I think is a great decision because backtracking this island can be tedious when you've done it several hundreds of times playing this game for, you know, the past 22 years. Funny enough, the first Halo mod I ever played was in 2006, and the mod allowed you to fly a pelican and a banshee around this island. So this brought me back to that first mod I played. Now, we've come full circle from a simple mod years ago to this much more impressive and revolutionary full campaign mod.
This flamethrower has some considerable distance. This special plasma rifle is named Fury. After reaching the cartographer and fighting your way back topside, the Covenant have dispatched a special operations unit to stop you. I had to try this part a few times, but it was a neat and visceral experience, as it feels like the Covenant are reacting and planning based off of your actions. Cortana to Echo 419. The Chief and I are topside. Requesting pickup. Roger. On my way. It's a tough push to make your way to Echo 419's Pelican. This whole level, just like every other one in this mod, is an intense experience. Especially if you consider playing cooperative on Legendary mode. Pushing up the beach, encountering heavy Covenant armor at the entrance of the map room, and fighting through hallways and corridors with the more aggressive AI. No matter if you're playing with a friend or solo, Halo Combat Revolved is a must play. I can't wait to take on the next level, Assault on the Control Room, and I hope you'll join in on viewing the video. If you like my videos and you want to support me more personally, I have my own coffee campaign I'm running. Link is in the description. And thank you so much. If you didn't catch the previous levels to this mod, go ahead and watch my previous playthroughs and watch my other videos.